And this one is pretty special. We've got Kim Kardashian. She's had a lot of successes in her life. She's really accomplished a lot, all these amazing, amazing things. And so here we are talking about what type of facial plastic surgery might she have had. So we are going to also summarize and add up the cost of all these surgeries at the end of the video, so don't miss that. So in 2007, Kim was 27 years old, and when I look at these photos, to me, it looks like she had a rhinoplasty. The rhinoplasty was mainly to reduce the dorsal hump, which is that uh, bump on the bridge of her nose, so we can see that um, reduced. Then we move on to 2008. She's now 28 years old. And this is where things start to really change for her in that I think she's had uh, cheek implants placed. These cheek implants are meant to volumize the under eye area and give more prominence to the mid face. And it looks to me like she may have had a canthoplasty as well where the lower lid of the eye is pulled out and up and that helps to kind of create that more almond shaped type of eye. So 2009, not much change here. 2010, now 30 years old. I, I think Kim Kardashian has had a, maybe a fat transfer at this point. The face looks a bit fuller, um, and that is just a guess on, on what she may have had. Now, Botox filler, I think she's getting maintenance treatments from fairly early age and continues to do that. Let's make sure that we subscribe to the channel. Very important, subscribe, smash that button, turn on notifications. You know, we do a lot of these uh, reaction videos, celebrity analysis videos, and just general educational videos about hair and also all the space stuff that we cover here. It's 2011, age 31, I don't really see any major changes in Kim's face. 2012, same thing, not much has changed. 2013, Kim is now 33 years old. She did have uh, her first baby around this time, so I know the face might look a bit fuller from that pregnancy. But what I'm seeing aside from that is that there are some signs of a revision rhinoplasty. I'm not sure when exactly that was done before the pregnancy, after when she had the kid. I'm not sure. But um, either way, it seems to me like the hump that was initially sort of shaved down, but there was still some sign of, of a dorsal hump. Now it's completely gone. The tip of the nose to me looks looks more lifted. And the philtrum, which is this portion here between the nose and the upper lip, to me looks longer. It, it looks like it's longer maybe because of the aging process. As most of you know, as we get older, skin stretches out and it does that at the philtrum as well. So that's possible. Also, it's possible that from her prior rhinoplasties, the philtrum may have stretched. There are certain muscles here at the base of the nose during a rhinoplasty. Oftentimes, they're severed. Uh, not as a problematic uh, you know, side effect of the surgery, it's just um, something that, that happens as part of any rhinoplasty or most rhinoplasties. And so the philtrum can get longer from that and that is something that I'm seeing here. So it could be age, it could be the prior rhinoplasties. 2014, age 34, I don't see any major changes. 2015, age 35, let's take a look at Kim's hair. Um, to me, it looks like I'm seeing a different pattern. And I know that she's admitted to doing some laser hair removal at the hairline for some fine hairs, but it seems to me like there's more than just laser hair removal. To me, it seems like the entire hairline is different. I think she went from a more kind of m shape type of hairline to something a bit more rounded and very feminine looking. And so that, to me, looks like a, a, a change from what came before, and it could could be that there's makeup, that there's a hair piece uh, type of um, system in place or a wig, but I do think that there's a chance that she may have had a hair transplant around that time. 2016, she is now 36 years old. I don't see any major changes. 2017, age 37, the philtrum does look shorter. And so the question is, did Kim Kardashian have a lip lift or could this be primarily makeup? And I know that uh, Mario, her makeup artist for a long time, has this thing he calls the Mario's lip lift. And it's basically a way of lining the lips so that they look like they're more full and then the philtrum then looks shorter. So what's up everyone? It's Dr. Gary here from the future. I wanted to comment on the Kardashians and their propensity for photoshopping their images of what you see online. I think it sets an artificial beauty standard that is very difficult to achieve. I don't think it's healthy for 
everyone else who's following them, who's clicking on their pictures, who's absorbing all of that data and really can never achieve that same level of beauty because it's fake. And I wanted to point out that Kim does appear to have a subnasal scar from what looks like to have been a lip lift. The lip lift incision goes right at that junction between the nose and the upper lip. And as we can see in her recent Instagram picture, it does appear that she has this type of scar. And I've seen it now when I look back at other pictures as well. So that gives us some more evidence that she likely did have a lip lift to reduce the filtral distance. The filtral distance got longer after her rhinoplasties and with the aging process, and she went ahead and shortened it with a lip lift. That's what I can see. 2018, age 38, I don't see any major change. 2019, same thing, looks about the same. 2020, age 40, to me it looks like she may have had an upper blepharoplasty. I'm seeing less of the super tarsal crease of the upper eyelid and just a bit more of that kind of hollowing that you sometimes see after uh, upper blepharoplasty when skin is removed. And so that's, uh, you know, some of my thoughts on 2020. Also, it looks like she may have had an endoscopic type of facelift. Her face has a, it's just very tight, almost un, unnaturally so, especially for 40 years old. And it's just a guess, I'm not sure. Uh, 2021, age 41, I don't see any further changes to her face. So let's do a summary of Kim Kardashian's facial plastic surgeries, at least according to what I think may have happened. First, we've got a rhinoplasty. I'll give you approximate price ranges, and I'm sure she's paying on the higher end of things. Rhinoplasty, 10 to $20,000. Revision rhinoplasty, 15 to $40,000. Cheek implants, 15 to $30,000. Botox and filler maintenance over the course of, say, about 13 years, about $10,000 a year. Fat transfer to the face, 10 to $20,000. Cantoplasty, 10 to 15,000. Revision cantoplasty, if that's something that she had, could run up to 15, 20,000 dollars. Hair transplant, 15 to 25,000 dollars. Corner lip lift, again speculative, but five to 10,000 dollars. Endoscopic facelift can be anywhere from 30 to 80,000 dollars. Total amount for Kim Kardashian is approximately 390,000 dollars. Now, for most of us, that's uh, way more than we can afford. But for Kim, that's a small fraction of her net worth and something that she could totally afford. And don't forget about potential body plastic surgeries that she may have had as well. I'm a facial plastic surgeon and a hair surgeon, so I'm not gonna comment on the body work, but there are other videos out there speculating on potential body surgeries. So did I miss something? Please comment below and, and let us know. We'll see you at the next video. Thanks, bye.